fighting in junior flyweight mm. and the national team is starting in junior flyweight that's when i started deciding you know what i want to be in the national team also my dad was in the national team i want to be there you see okay and i was laughed at i was a joke because free state is undermined mm -hmm. uh, free state is seen as the lowest province when it comes to boxing yes. so i had that anger of what i've been through what happened I, funny thing is even when i came I arrived, I went to the garage, after uh, checking my weight, I went mm -hmm. to the garage, I went to find myself a random person to take me in the corner. Hold on, Jan. A random person? You didn't even know the person from the garage, say, come on, you in, in, in my corner. I just only wanted a person just going to give me what? The, the person doesn't make you know nothing about boxing. You see, it's in Cape, they're very known when it comes to boxing, mm -hmm. you see. So in my mindset, I was like, everyone was in Eastern Cape, they know boxing. So my faith was there. Like, okay, everyone will know. Because that time, my coaches hasn't arrived. And then again, those are not my coaches. There was the coaches from another district mm -hmm. who are coming. So for the fact that the tournament is going to be today, I arrived today and I didn't see them, I had to make a plan B. I didn't want any other coach from another province to be in my corner. They can make me lose. I'm True. not their child, you see. So I'd rather get a random person just to give me water and I'll make a plan for myself how I'm going to win. You know, Mama Chief, they want to come down with the <laughs> story. Um, but today you are here. You became one of the good amateur champions. Now, what you doing are you in professional? No, let me, let me, let me do this. And then, uh, for people to understand my image, mm. to close it up, you see. My amateur journey, for me to be, to take a long time mm. in amateurs mm. before turning pro, it was because of hunger. Oh, okay. One thing I know from a free boxer, when he jumps in the ring, he doesn't jump. You know, Eastern Cape, there are a lot of champions. How can there are a lot of champions? In Bobo, there's a lot of champions. Free state is ring. Okay. So for a boxer from a free state to make it, it's hunger. So that's why I stood for many years in amateur, not in, in amateur and in the national team. Not just put it as in amateur, mm -hmm. in the national, national team. team. Mm -hmm. The reason why I was still in amateur was because of the national team. You see, after I got out of the national team, that's when I turned pro. So as, as an amateur, uh, tell me, did you compete in the Olympics? That's a painful part of it. I competed in three Olympic qualifiers. You joke. Three Olympic qualifiers. The first two uh, Olympic qualifiers was in the year 2008. Mm -hmm. The first one was in Algeria. I didn't win. The second one was in Namibia. That was the heartbreaking one. I was one point away to make it to the Beijing Olympic. I was fighting against a boxer from Uganda. Yeah. I was winning all my fights by knockout hmm. up until the semi-finals i lost to my rival uh, thomas asomba from cameroon yeah and then because uh, one lost in the semi-final another one lost in the semi-final no they needed to find the winner's semi-final hmm. so they lose no, i mean the loser semi-final boxers from semi-final who lost they must meet up to qualify and hmm. that's how i got to uh, i remember his name is uh, ronald surugo from Uganda. Yeah. I was fighting with him. It was a tough fight. First fight, it was we there was no points. The first round. The second round it was three three. Fourth round, third round was four uh six six. And then on the last round he led me by one point. when you say six six, what are you talking about? You're talking about the scoring cards Sc that they put there, the writing. No, computer scoring. It's computer scoring. Computer scoring. How does that work? Computer scoring, uh, it, they score according to a, a clean blow. Not how many punches you throw, but on a clean blow. Um, check. Boxing is about throwing punches. You can throw any punch, you can throw from then. So you have to, they have to count, you have to count how many punches you throw in your, as a boxer or mm -hmm. what, what's the big Champ, a soccer player, if he, 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 he shoots a ball and he hits the post, do you consider it as a goal? No. If a boxer throws a punch on your arm, do you score this considered it a scoring blow? Um no. That's why. So when 
they do the scoring club with the, with, with the computer or with the pattern that they use. There should be a clean punch that uh, is landing. Just like a soccer, a soccer, there must be a goal that goes through the net. Isn't isn't it's that all the same with boxing? There must be a clean blow. Isn't it difficult for a uh, amateur to find a red the scoring computer, pattern pressing, then writing on the scorecard there and looking who's dominating the, the round? Isn't that difficult? Look at boxers from the amateurs, mm. and then who have been in the Olympics, likes of uh, Dontia Wilder, Rigondo, Lomachenko. The time they turned professional, they were winning fights easier than guys who, were, who, who didn't box in amateurs. That's true. It's because they knew how to score blow. So they know they, 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 they didn't miss, they knew when to score a blow. So you guys you know when to hit. We and know when to hit. Ah, that's very interesting. We know when to hit, you see. So do, do you think they can bring this type of scoring in the profession to work? No, it won't work. Uh professional you we, we, we people want action. Okay. They want action. But it's also action in amateur. Amateur is more technical. Okay. It's more technical. It's more schooling. It's more schooling. Mm -hmm. But now, because now amateur has changed into professional style of boxing, yeah. they now use the scorecards and they don't use head guys. So mm -hmm. they see that pros, uh, uh, a lot of amateurs are now turning pros, they're losing the best amateurs, you know, like Zhu Ximing from China. They, they lose best amateurs, so they want to keep amateurs mm -hmm. in boxing. They even, there's this. Uh, uh, Aiba Pro Boxing, if I'm right, if I'm correct, World yeah. Boxing Series, yeah. where amateurs box professional, but under the umbrella of Aiba. Okay. You see, so they can also earn money as amateurs, but not turn pro, like the WBC, WBO, and all the stuff, just to hold them in. That's why they started changing the rulings. So, Golden Phoenix. From here, where are we going? From here, uh, ooh, ooh, let's 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 save it for the next episode. Uh, because now we're gonna be start talking about my professional career. We will now more focus on me. So both two boxes 